for traditional swimming pools, you would want to have a total dissolved solid level below 1500 parts per million or so. But with a salt water swimming pool or a swimming pool that has a salt water chlorine generation system, you'll find that that idea of 1500 parts per million, well, it just doesn't work because you need 3000 to 3500 parts per million of salt in your water for your salt system to generate the chlorine that you need. So how do you how do you do this? What is total dissolved solids for salt water pools and what should your levels be? Well, since you can't use the traditional measurements of below 1500 parts per million, what you should do is you should measure what your starting point is once you have added the fill water, added your salt, and whatever your total dissolved solids is at that point, that is your starting point. And at 1000 parts per million, to 1,500 parts per million more maximum, that's the point where you would want to drain or partially drain and refill your pool with fresh water, and then of course rebalance with salt to bring your salt level back up to the level that your system needs to operate. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.